Seven people are dead and several others injured after a horrific crash on I-5 north of Albany. All northbound lanes of the freeway were shut down for several hours, even during rush hour, as police investigated. Fox 12's Anna Karayama is live at the scene tonight with the details. Anna. Yes, uh, Pete and Nora, we are still at the Santiam rest stop just off of Interstate 5, and take a look. Traffic is still backed up at this 10 o'clock hour. You are looking at the northbound lanes of Interstate 5. For much of the afternoon today, these are the lanes that were completely shut down as vehicles were detoured around the crash site. As we started up the road, we saw all the morgue vans, so we knew it was really it was going to be bad. Will McGraw called his buddy to warn him of what was ahead. His friend is a truck driver who was making his way from Medford to Portland. He just heard that there was a very serious accident, so I, I told him the rest of it. Police say just after 2 o'clock in the afternoon, two semis and a passenger vehicle crashed on Interstate 5 near milepost 241. Seven people who were all adults were killed and multiple others injured. You can never get over stuff like this. You can't. I mean, it's just very hard to do. Two life flight helicopters were called to the scene. Phil Price says he was driving through the area as first responders recovered bodies from a crushed van. He says for anyone on scene, this one will be tough to forget. Oh, absolutely. It's uh, like I was, I actually felt like puking. When I saw it, like, you know, it's uh, disturbing. When you see all the emotion on the police and, like, the rescue and everybody there trying to, you know, work, and you see people pat, like, the police pat people on the shoulder, it's disturbing. I'm sure it's going to bug them probably a little bit for a day or two. There's no word yet on whether speed or impaired driving may have played a role in the crash. Phil Price says he stayed on site to say a prayer for those killed. You know, it's tough. It opens your eyes a bit, makes you slow down a little bit, makes you want to think a bit. Will McGraw says his friend found a detour, but as a retired firefighter, he worries about the emergency crews. For the people over there who's working on everything, it's hard on them. All right, back live now. We can tell you that in just the last five minutes, it does look like traffic is picking up just a little bit. Police say they will be releasing more information after the on-site investigation is complete and after next of kin is notified, and they expect that'll take at least until tomorrow afternoon. Live in Marion County, Anna Kadiyama, Fox 